Today my job is easy. I get to tell you about my favourite thing in the world, plants. The very first land plants to be exact. It's a lovely story about how over time, tiny plants gave rise to more complex plants that basically changed the world. Let's go back millions and millions of years. We're not going to see the dinosaurs, sorry. We're going to go back further in time to the time of the very first land plants. I wouldn't want to live here, but who would? These plants would. The first plants on land were tiny. They didn't have roots or a vascular system. Plants use roots to take up water from the soil. Because these early plants didn't have roots, they had to live close to water, like rivers and ponds. A vascular system is how water and nutrients are moved around a plant. Without this plumbing, plants can't grow very large because some parts won't get water. The first plants were similar to mosses and liverworts that we see today. They also don't have real roots. So, after a few million years, plants develop roots and plumbing. The roots allow them to tap into water in the ground, helping them move away from water areas. With pipes to carry water up the stem, plants can grow taller and taller as they start to compete with each other for sunlight. And here's where the story gets really interesting. As plants develop roots, they physically and chemically change the surface of our planet. First, they create soil. Roots penetrate the rocky exterior at the surface. And as they grow deeper and deeper, they break the rock up into smaller and smaller pieces. The roots also use carbon dioxide to produce acid that breaks down the rock even further. Finally, as plants die and decay, they add nutrients, making the soil much richer. But that's not all these early land plants are doing. They're also affecting the climate. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Through photosynthesis, plants use light from the sun to convert that carbon dioxide plus water into sugar and oxygen. They release the oxygen back into the atmosphere, but they use energy from the sugar to grow. A lot of the sugar becomes the raw material that makes up the structure of the plant, essentially locking up the carbon from the carbon dioxide it originally absorbed in its tissues. When the plants die, they rot on the ground, and some of that plant material, including its carbon, gets trapped in the soil. But wait, there's more. Remember how the plants used carbon dioxide to produce acid? Well, that reacts with the rocky soil, trapping even more carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide in the atmosphere keeps our planet warm. So with less of it in the air, the planet slowly cools down during this period. See how plants drastically transformed our planet forever? We actually have evidence for most of this story. So as delicate and flimsy as these plants were, we do have fossils of them. How do we know they're plants? Well, because they look a lot like the plants we still have nowadays. Here we have a living liverwort, and here is a magnification of a fossil one. So this shows us that plants were really small without pipes and without roots. So when plants developed roots and plumbing, they could grow in different places, and they also get more sturdy. So that means the fossil record gets better and better. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here, Cindy? Well, here I have a fossil of a plant that was still relatively small. Here are the stems, and you can see that it wasn't getting very big. Now compare that with this younger one. This is a stem as well. It's a cross-section of its trunk, actually. So this was a tree. And we also have the branches that grow on it over here. We have fossilized soil too. And we can see plants forming soil from volcanic rock today. We can use that information to understand how early land plants created soil. At the same time, as plants are getting bigger and bigger, the temperature of the planet starts to drop. And this is where the evidence for this lies, in the shells of ancient marine organisms. What's amazing is that scientists can actually measure the temperature of the environment where these shells formed. And we can do the same with fossil soil too. See how plants drastically transformed our planet forever? Thanks plants! <laughs>